Next at 6, earlier this week we showed you these photos inside a portion of the Dane County Jail that the sheriff said he was going to shut down due to safety concerns. Well, today, effective at 11 a.m., it has closed and all of the 65 men and women housed there have been moved out of Dane County. Sheriff Calvin Barrett called the conditions in that portion inhumane and borderline unconstitutional. Well, tonight we're hearing a firsthand account of what life inside that part was like. Braden Ross has more. I was preferring prison over that. Um, I was hoping to go to prison. I was wanted out of that jail so bad. Garrett Olson has seen the worst of the system. Going in and out of jail was because of my alcoholism. And then I slowly started to use drugs my first time. And Olson had just moved into a new apartment in March after being homeless for four years when he was booked into the Dane County Jail where he would spend the next four months. Unsafe. Uh, inhumane and borderline unconstitutional. That's how Sheriff Calvin Barrett described the part of the jail where Olson was held from March to July of this year. It was so hard. The water was disgusting. It tasted like metals, paint chips all over the place, rusted things. Uh, the, the bottom of the walls were all deteriorated, rusted, disgusting bugs, yeah. lots of silverfish. Uh, so I would wake up in the morning time and I, my neck would be bit up. As for the cells? Tiny, small. Olson struggles with mental health, and he says his time in the Dane County Jail only made it harder. In the four months Olson spent in the jail, he says he was let outside one time. Finally, we did. They gave us after four months. I think there was because people were making pleas, and they left me on the roof. And the roof was just a empty big cage that was covered all around. He says at one point he spent 60 days in isolation both as a result of overcrowding and as a punishment. My mental health was getting worse and worse and worse. It was tough. According to him, it was tough to get both mental and physical health care in the jail. On one occasion, Olson says he had toilet paper stuck in his ear for three days before he could get medical attention. I had to put him in because I had a, 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 another guy that they put in there they transferred in. He had ADHD so bad that he would slam things on the wall and punch the wall and make noise. He says the small cells in poor conditions led to tension and conflict. That jail is like a setup. It's, it's just, you're going to fail one way or another. For News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. Current residents in this part of the jail will be sent to neighboring counties, and Dane County officials hope to finally get the ball rolling on a new facility. And tonight, Sheriff Barrett wrote this to News 3 Now. He says, quote, many of the concerns expressed by Mr. Olson about the conditions in the city county building jail are heard and substantiated. We arguably have high quality medical and mental health care available 24 seven in our jail, but lack the appropriate space for individuals experiencing physical or mental illness. Dane County, he says, is far overdue in moving forward on the jail consolidation project in a jail that meets the needs of the community.